it's your girl Sarah here. If you don't know me, I make videos on how to earn money with crypto and NFT projects. And today I'm going to be talking about something new. It's called Spec Protocol and it's one of the most innovative ways and projects of crypto yet. So let's talk a little bit about Spec Protocol. So Spec Protocol invented payment streaming and this is a new, very innovative way of being able to do um, payments or issue payments in the real way by real time and the best part of it all is that it's tax compliant so this means that it's a very efficient and effective way for web 3 and web 2 companies to be able to make payments and payroll so back chain will be a modular l3 chain that allows developers to deploy app specific chains for more flexibility, speed, and development. It will be built on a universal 2K rollup for scalability and run on globally distributed network of nodes to ensure decentralization. Sebeck Protocol has also launched a community DAO voting platform for those who have dollar CBC tokens to be able to vote on protocol proposals. The first proposal to create was to launch Nautilus, a stages project that will be able to help ensure Zebec's success. Nautilus is also an L3 solution that will work as a scaling system for Web3, including Evolve Chains, Cosmo Chains, and Solana. Due to its modular design, Nautilus chain developers have more access over their apps and therefore can ensure scalability with decentralization. At launch, Nautilus will be using optimistic rollups like Arbitrum before further going into CK rollups, which will ensure much further quicker settlement. Going back to Zebec protocol, as a payment streaming system, Zebec generated $20 million revenue in 2022, with roughly 5 million net profit, even in a bear system. Zebec protocol is projected to increasing their revenue by $40 million or more in 2023, throughout more partnerships with Web2 companies. Even better for the CBC's price action will be the launch of Nautilus and the back projects because of the deflationary mechanics into each. 25% of the gas fee that are generated on the chains will be used to buy back and burn CBCs and transactions on the protocol side will also be used to be burned. That means that the supply of CBCs can be reduced by 80% by the new future. So this is definitely a project I would be checking out in 2023. Let me know what you think. I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please don't hesitate to leave a thumbs up and if you don't mind a subscription for more videos related to this. Thank you, bye!